Lao Lao. Come on, baby. <laughs> Across the bay from San Francisco in industrial Oakland, a more extreme experiment in productivity through people is underway. One silver dollar for every year you're with us. When Tom Malone bought North American Tool and Die in 1978, it was barely Marie, breaking even. Marie? Come on, kid. For Malone, this was an unlikely venture. He had spent 25 years as a consumer products executive and claims he couldn't even hammer a nail. But he was determined to prove that he could transform a failing business into a success just by treating people decently and allowing them the opportunity to be their best. Apple and other Silicon Valley companies depend on small job shops like North American for the precision parts that go into their computers. There are thousands of these operations, and competition is fierce. The only way to win is to keep cost low and quality very high. The specifications for these parts are in thousandths of an inch, less than the thickness of a human hair. Yet the tool and die industry is plagued by costly inefficiency and poor quality. Much of the labor is unskilled, and the work is at once demanding and a drudgery. But what we're saying is... Malone tackled this challenge with the fervor of an evangelist. What do we do different here? Well, a couple of things. Number one, you got to be absolutely honest, bone honest, every day, everything you say, everything you do, every night, every dealing with every employee, every business dealing, inside and outside the company, you got to be straight. Because those people have been conned for centuries, and if you con them once, the credibility's gone. Absolutely, totally gone. And they're looking at you with a crooked eye until you prove it. It took us probably two years until they finally realized that we were playing absolutely bone straight. Malone sounds too good to be true, but there is no question that he has achieved stunning results. In the six years since he has been running the business, the reject rate on parts has dropped from 5% to a near perfect tenth of 1%. Annual sales have increased from 1.8 to $7 million. Most impressively of all, profits have soared upward 700%. For this remarkable gain, Malone gives credit to the involvement and ingenuity of his blue-collar workers. One of the things we try to do when we create this caring climate, a climate of trust, is, hey, go try it. Go try it. It may be a hell of an idea. But implicitly in there, you've got to take away fear of failure. Because if you put your head out and try something, and it fails, and you get your rear end kicked, how often are you going to try it again? But if you let the gang know, hey, it's okay to screw up, it's okay, then you fly. Because then they start to really dream and they reach out and that's what's fun and that's when you get the big hits. What those people can do on their own when they know nobody's second guessing them, you can't believe the results. And you'll see it when we go out in the shop. They do it on their own. I don't even know they're doing it. I don't understand it. This is incredible. This is Dave. Dave, I hate. Because this rat thing is how old? 26. 26. He invented this thing when he was 24 years old. Now this is a core assembly to the matrix printer that goes into every printer that our customers sell. This is the heart of it. And Dave figured out a way before we had to put these in one by one. What he did is to figure out a way of doing it automatically. It makes it kind of like a game because you're loading rivets in here while the machine's running by itself. And it's all spring-loaded, so while the machine's cycling, the operator can put more rivets in here. Well, it gets to where it's a game, you're trying to beat the machine all the time. It's like trying to get the rivets in before, you know, the machine stops. But what I had to do, I had to speed the machine up because eventually the people started beating it. Now, the real implication here is not just his genius. We use old equipment here. This isn't state-of-the-art. The difference is his genius is going back to old-fashioned American ingenuity. We're not competing anymore with job shops in the West Coast or in Chicago. We're competing against offshore. And the way we beat them is to outthink them. And that's the personification of it right here. <laughs> we got a new award today. It's called the North American Tool and Die Freezer Award. Now, who knows? <laughs> who knows what that's for and who won, who won it? Anybody? Anybody got an idea? Something in the freezer. Kelly, go on, look in the freezer. Go on, go look in the freezer. Come on, hurry up. When an employee contributes in any way to helping the company toward its goal of zero rejects, Malone makes it an occasion for proclaiming his gratitude to one and all at what he calls a superperson ceremony. Come on up here, buddy. 
<laughs> I warned you, kid. I warned you. Huh? All right. I mean, oh, that's cold. <laughs> the mood of these celebrations is genuine. Sometimes Malone's effusiveness appears to embarrass his employees, but it seems they do like and respect him. The check is for fifty dollars. Okay. Yeah. Remember this job? I went through the shop one day and I saw Kelly going in the freezer. I thought, what the hell's going on? Is he goofing off or making uh, margaritas for Joe or what? You know what he did? He couldn't get this into here, so he said, hey, I'm going to put this in the freezer. It'll shrink and then put the part together. And it worked. And I said, where the hell did you get that idea? He said, what? Just part of the job, right? Yeah. What else can I say, gang? Thanks. God love you, dude. God love you. <laughs> and remember, no rejects. No rejects. No rejects. That's why we're here, gang. Okay, that's the North American Tool and Die Freezer Award. Malone's feelings for the people he calls his gang are harder to fathom. These people are good. They are good human beings. And they have been screwed their whole life. And if I can create a climate where people enjoy doing what they're doing best and take pride in what they're doing, that ain't a bad legacy. All right, come on, baby. <laughs> Is Tom Malone truly motivated by compassion for the working class? Who can say? What is evident is that the appreciation he lavishes on his employees is producing the bottom line results that are making his business a success. And that's why I got super person and naturally no rejects. That's the part. And God love you, baby. Okay. Thanks. God love you. Thanks.